What is up guys? My name's The Simeon. My name is Yen. I play The Sims. Did you see what I did there? Guys, you have The Sims trending. Okay, we will get into that in just a second, but of course today's video is going to consist of all the broken things that happened during the latest patch update, as well as some news with The Sims being over 70 million people playing it. So let's get into all of this. So as we all know, I'm going to do a quick recap of The Sims 4. We will be receiving four you unique kits and a hot update. Although I do not think the hot update was the update that just came, I do think there's another one coming later in the summer. The two kits also have been announced saying we have a greenhouse haven kit and a basement treasures kit. Now as many simmers are very concerned whether or not they should buy this considering the fact that the Sims Direct actually put out a patch update and the update tried to fix a lot of things but ended up breaking more. So as usual would it be the Sims if the patch update didn't consist with more patches that needed to be patched and updated? Of course people took the EH and Sir HQ to announce their frustrations and people having problems with their creative Sims. Now there are bigger plans and bigger things happening happening when it comes down to The Sims 4 and we will get into that in just a second but I do want to quickly announce that The Sims 4 team actually took to The Sims Direct saying that the team is aware of investigating and bug in yesterday's update resulting in change to the face and body of existing Sims. We are on it and we can keep you informed as we work towards a resolution. Now as many Simmers grew frustrated at this tweet because this shouldn't have happened to begin with. A lot of people felt that what is wrong with The Sims team and what is the quality that we are getting after spending so much money on this game. If you go into Answers HQ, the EA man, community manager actually ended up tweeting back saying our team is aware of investigating a bug in yesterday's results. We are on it and will provide any relevant updates in this thread and he goes on to tag the Sims Direct which I have just stated. Now with this I also took to Twitter to announce my opinions and I did say how long are Simmers willing to give the Sims 4 team the benefit of the doubt. They gave us an update to fix patches that need more patches because the patches they fixed broke. At this point it's starting to look like it's on purpose and this is way too consistent. Now a lot of people felt some kind of way but you guys know me. I love when people agree or disagree with me because at the end of the day, it starts conversation and conversations that actually need to be had. Now, although I find it interesting that the Sims themselves have not announced anything on their actual Twitter, I do think it's important that they acknowledge it to the mini Simmers. Not everyone follows the Sims Direct and not everybody goes on EA Answers HQ. I do feel like it is up to the Sims team to announce certain things, but they don't want to obviously put it out there to everyone stating how much everything is broken, which is why the Sims Direct was a thing in the first place. But as usual, I always feel like the Sims Direct isn't direct until their backs are against the wall and they feel like they have to announce certain things. A lot of things that are on the EA Answers HQ don't even get mentioned into the Sims 4 Direct. So let me know down your opinions on what you guys think about that and we are going to get into the very next topic including more things being broken as the patch update continued. QMBIBI is a very awesome content creator and she wants to tweet saying where is my baby and guys as you guys can see things are disappearing very very quickly into the Creta Sims. There have been multiple multiple issues with other Simmers having issues as well. Someone by the name of Plum Lay said okay honestly it's getting really tired of this EA at the Sims where an error had occurred due to the effects of a particularly stubborn issue. Someone else by the name of Ray said, it keeps happening to me too. It's so annoying, especially while streaming. It's very, very nerve wracking while streaming because I don't know it'll lose my progress if I don't. Even Deligracy took to Twitter saying, I'm scared to open my safe file because I don't want my Sims to be possessed with new face glitch. And someone else by the name of Rose Velvet Simmer saying, game is so effing broken. Someone uninstalled it. All her saves and packs are gone. I don't know. All because your game is ruining Sims faces. You effed up with controllers using console Simmer's controls when no one asks you to and you won't fix it. Someone else by the name of Sims Life Story said you updated your game on patch day you found a bug you can't play your save what did you learn nothing because you're going to do exactly the same thing next month as you did last month never update patch day hashtag the sims 4 someone else by the name of lucas said not to say that earlier sim games were flawless but the bugs were not anywhere near as much as they are now and even though the core gameplay wasn't the broken it wasn't rather small details a few years ago the sims 4 worked good as well but after some of the updates it just doesn't anymore and someone else by the name of shuby sim said your save isn't ruined it isn't a mod problem it's affecting everyone who's updated. It's just more noticeable in some sims. It's a rig problem. Once it's fixed, it'll be fixed if every one of your saves played or not. Now, Hen for Hen also took to Twitter to announce all the problems going on with gardening and everybody found it very ironic that The Sims 4 announced a gardening pack considering gardening is actually broken. Now, also now that we have the leaks that happened thanks to Simatically, we have been able to actually dive deep more into this pack before it actually has been released. We do have a take a look at some of these items and people were saying mixed reviews and have mixed 
mixed emotions about it. But as things going further, when it comes down to the patch update causing even more problems than how it occurred on the first day, many simmers are left hesitant to whether or not they should buy the pack. I'm very curious and, and curious and just in, in general to see if down below you guys can comment and let me know, do you guys plan on buying this pack or are you waiting for the patch update for the latest, for the latest patch update to work? Now, I did go into the Sim Gurus to see if they said anything and Sim Guru Ash did take the Twitter to announce saying that she's excited about the, you know, Basement Treasures kit and we really excited to take a stab at more grungy stuff and hope we get to do more in future packs. So she did hint at some things that maybe could be along the lines of what we're going to be seeing in the future, but she was the only one that was actually responding. Another simmer asked, just curious, why can't you guys bring these things into The Sims 4? And she quickly responded saying, it's not so much can't as it is what comes first, where resources fall, etc. It's a major game, all of this or that with caveats. Now I'm going to go into more stuff that she did have pinned and she said there's a million things on our list and because many of us are simmers, a lot of them are things simmers want anyway. And I did go on to be nosy and see if any of the other sim gurus had spoke out about it and sim guru Nova actually hasn't said anything, neither has sim guru Ninja nor sim guru George. Now with the sim gurus not speaking up on certain things that are happening, I do want to talk about that very quickly and my thoughts and opinions on that. I do feel like as the sim gurus, you know, they only talk when either their backs are against the wall or when they have worked on a very specific project. Now I do feel like they are afraid to speak out on certain things because of the backlash they have received by many simmers. I don't think the simmers are coming from an angry place. I do think that we're coming from a very frustrated place. It's happened over and over and over again and it just sucks when you play a game and you're just scared of even updating it because you don't know what could be broken, what is going to be broken and when will they actually fix it. There's a lot of issues that they have fixed during patch updates and there's many more that just haven't. I mean the cons outweigh the pros when it comes down to The Sims 4, when it comes down to releasing patch updates or just backs in general. There's been things over and over and over that have continuously happened and a lot of simmers are just fed up with this entire news. Now ironically with that being said, we are going to get into the very next topic that there's an article stating that over 70 million people have joined The Sims 4 in the past 8 years and we are going to dive into it right now. Now the article does continue to read saying The Sims 4 has also since experienced global expansion with 75% of unique players based outside of North America in growth areas including Brazil, France, Germany, the United Kingdom, and Poland. Newly acquired players have enthusiastically jumped into the game's catalog of more than 60 packs and kits. Now, I do want to get into the fact that Philip Ring, who's also an executive producer of The Sims 4, stated it's incredible to see how many of our community has grown over the past eight years and our players continue to inspire us with the countless ways they explore life in The Sims 4. Now, that was stated by him specifically, and I do want to get into the fact that the article does continue to say, following the release of the new expansion pack and the free base game update featuring the infant life stage, players have created more than 8.6 million Sims infants in the game built 1.7 million new households in the PAX world of San Sequoia, and players have achieved 27.1 million milestones across all platforms, including 12.2 million infant milestones. Guys, that is insane. So despite all of this drama happening with The Sims 4, they still continue to rise when it comes down to how much people are still playing this. I'm very curious to see if it's the OG Simmers or the brand new Simmers. I do want to state my thoughts and opinions really quick, and I always say this, but I am curious to hear more of your opinions. As my channel grows, we do have new people that are joining in, and I'm always curious to see if you guys are an OG Simmer or if you're a new Simmer, and I'm very curious to see how far are they willing Willing to go and play along with the tactics of the new simmers that are coming because a lot of them don't know what we used to have back then and why we have so much expectations and frustrations when it comes down to the sims 4 releasing new pack. I do want to quickly this Sims Guru's tweet when it comes down to the Sims 4 free play and how quick they were to resolve this versus what we've been dealing with over on console and PC. So those who don't know, Sim Guru Megs is actually one of the hosts of the Sims TV and marketing for the Sims 4 and she said, Hi Simmers, we've heard and seen the download issues including the excessive crashing and are actively working on a solution. Stay tuned. And just within the day, they said we've fix the download error. In our latest release, simply open your game to try. We appreciate your patience as we continue to investigate the ongoing crashes and work on a fix. But look how quickly they were to fix that. Now I'm very curious as well what's the difference between that and maybe maybe The Sims 4 when it comes down to PC and console makes and causes for more people. I don't know. You guys let me know in your opinions and let me know what you guys think. 
Now, with that all being said, I do want to thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up because it truly does help out my channel. We are on the road to 20K, and I know every YouTuber say this, but I appreciate every single one of you for supporting my channel. Whether you are a silent viewer, you comment all the time, you give my videos a like, or you share this to your friends, I truly do appreciate every single one of you guys who are helping me out in supporting my channel and making this be a really big community of talking all these things sims i'll see you guys on the next video i appreciate all the love and support and i'll see you guys later bye